Hello everyone, my name is Kaijiro. Today we're going to show you how to create this water droplet or glass marble effect in DaVinci Resolve. And this was inspired by one of Archie's edits. As you can see, he made this footage turn into a glass marble or whatever. And I remade it right here. And yeah, this is what we're going to learn today. So I have my uh, clips prepared here in a fusion composition. Just uh, right click open fusion, it's just media in, media out. And then uh, to the media, I'm gonna add a ellipse mask. And on the width, I'm gonna add a equal sign. And connect this plus to the height. Then add a keyframe on the first part, on the first frame. And on the last frame. And I'm gonna set the first keyframe to 1.2 so it fills the entire screen. And then graph it like this. And then I'm gonna add a lens distort node. And set the mode to distort because the on distort is very inconsistent, very buggy. And on the lens distortion, on distortion, on the first frame, set a keyframe. And on the last frame, set another keyframe, and put it on 5. You already get very close to the end result here, so... I'm gonna graph it like this. It's already looking like a lot like the end result. And in between, add a vignette to make it look more rounded and could also keyframe that on the size here on the first frame so to 1 the last frame to 0.5 and graph it again and if you want to make it look like uh, it's made out of water you, you could add a displace node with some fast noise and on the scale maybe increase it a bit and in the displays you get maybe increase the reflection strength something like point uh, yeah two let's keep it like that and you can also uh, uh animate the sieve so it moves it's very subtle but i think you get the point also increase it so you can see it better but I'm gonna keep it forever low so like this and that's it for that you could also make it like give more impact by adding a scale out so on the first frame on the size and on the last frame like 0.5 looks a little bit better and then for the background add a merge node and uh, copy your media paste it and put the copied media in the yellow input and the uh, things you made in the green input so we get this and then uh, add a transform node and you can flip it and also add some defocus Maybe 5D focus like that. And maybe decrease the brightness a bit to give more focus on the this part. And also add some lens to start to that. So I'd make it uh, distort again. And keyframe the distortion on from the first frame to the last frame. I'm gonna put it the last frame to minus 0.25 and you can keep graph it again and it's a bit laggy but that's already basically it it's just a handful of notes nothing too special and yeah that's basically it that's how you get this effect um 
I hope this helped a bit. I hope it didn't go too fast. If you have any questions, just leave a comment or something. And yeah, see ya.